Well, another interesting winner of the week comes to an end. And as you're an up-and-coming website and growing in dramatic leaps and bounds, you run into situations. And we run into run here. First time's ever happened. The rules for winner of the week were simple. You got to play one game a day. You're allowed to take one day a week off. Basically, you're required to play six games. Sounds easy, right? In the event, a winning percentage ties. Both guys at 666 winning percentage. The one who played more games than the other took more of a risk. They get the winner of the week. But what if both guys play the same amount of games? Then we look at bankroll. Here's a scenario I never thought, and never thought in a million years it could happen until someone changed their rating system in the middle of it. What happens if I have a guy 6 and 4 and a guy 9 and 6? It's both 600%. Well, it should go to the guy that's 9 and 6, right? Makes sense. What if he has a losing bankroll? Now what do you do? Well, it's not fair to take the winner of the week from him because he played within the rules. So we make an addendum. This week we'll have two winning percentage winners of the week. And a new rule will be in place. You must have a positive bankroll. I don't care if you go 10 and 1 and you bet 10 dimes all week and then the last day you bet 100 and lose. You must have a positive bankroll. Otherwise, not a winner. But I want to hear what the users have to say about this. I want to hear their opinions, so email me at info at parlayhelp.com. Good week for some, very bad week for others. The chart is underneath me. So, the odds buster. Now, that banner's not going to fit, but I will give him a link starting Monday night. Every night this week for winning percentage, however, losing bankroll. We are going to have two winners of the week. The second one will be Pete James of Parley Pete Sports, who finishes out the week 6-4 and four, plus Nine dimes. Bankroll run of the week was easy. It's been a while since these guys have been there. Their batters will be above me all week. They end up the week 21 and 18 plus 138 dimes of profit for the week. That is including the minus 120 dimes on the Cavaliers play. So the chart's underneath me. There it is. These guys are free all week. We'll have three winners of the week, two winning percentage, one bankroll. To come up with specials, I will post them on to you, and there will be a link, unless the odds buster can shrink that banner for me, because it just won't fit on the daily chart. A link, and then two banners, and we will give you the specials all week. Nice job to Sharp Edge Plays, as they had a little rough go of it, and they turned things around. They have been one of the long-term handicappers on my site, and will be here for several, several months to come well into football season. A nice way for those guys to turn things around. There it is. The rest of the chart is underneath me. A couple of positive notes. LPW, Sports Forecast, actually should be the bankroll winner of the week, but they started in the middle of the week. But look out for these guys to come as they finish up a 6-3 plus 69.5, our newest handicapper. Head on over and see these guys. They had a very good week to start things off. There it is, short and simple. We're always looking for handicappers. If you can pick games on a consistent basis and pick winners, we'll be happy to have you aboard the number one sports monitor on the internet. Nothing but baseball for the next three days. And then Thursday night, we start the NBA Finals. And it looks like Nike is going to have to make a new puppet. We'll see what that marketing department does. There it is. Want to hear what you got to say? Email me, info, partyhelp.com. Two winners of the week for winning percentage, one for bankroll, starting tonight. Those banners will be above me all week long.